Hello beautiful friends, I'm so sorry it's been so long. <sighs> Every time I put up one of these videos I feel like I need to say that again. Same old, same old excuses. Life gets in the way. I do have my makeup on but that's not what we're going to be doing today. Today we are going to be playing with my brand new Natasha Denona Biba palette. It's all about the neutrals. Oh, I'm very, very excited about this palette. I feel like I could just use this every day with every look. I, you guys know I don't shy away from color. I love color, <laughs> but I love neutrals equally. Can't live without them. So I think I'm just a fan of color in general, including my good old neutrals. If you are wondering about my promised color theory video, I will be filming that hopefully today as well. I have to film it in a couple of parts for my demonstration purposes and my talking through the video. There's going to be a few different parts that I have to edit together and it's just a little bit more complicated of a video which is why it's taking me so long to sort out. But that is coming. I'm hoping that'll be my very next video after this one. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I guess the first thing to do is to remove the makeup I've got on today. I am wearing Natasha Denona shadows right now. And we're going to remove all of my eye makeup so we can play around with this brand new baby. Baby Biba. Be right back. Okay, makeup is removed. I have re-moisturized. I even changed my shirt to get into the mood of this neutral palette. And I have primed using a Sephora Collection primer. And it's nice and just slightly tacky. Perfect. So, I'm going to start with a liner. This is my favorite, the Pat McGrath Black Coffee Eyeliner. And I'm in the mood for a nice halo eye today. My line, the waterline, on the bottom and the top. Work this on the upper lash line. Not caring if it's messy. You know how I roll. I'm making sure to get this outer corner that so often disappears or gets missed. This one is the Sonia G Pencil Pro. Hmm, I've been dying to try this black, but it's a bold move to start with black, isn't it? But I kind of want to. Nah, let's give this whole palette a go. I'm going to go with Coco, this perfect brown. And I'm going to start on the lower lash line and just work this right over my dark brown eyeliner, especially on this outer third. I'm going to take this and start on this outer third as well. And I'm going to bring it up onto the lid leaving the center free of shadow. First impressions is that the shade is working as expected, which is to say very nicely. Pasha, this warmer, so we use this one, which is more neutral. This one has a red tone to it. And I'm going to push this into the inner third just for the sake of trying a bunch of colors, you can use the same color and 
you would be just fine. Wow, that color is beautiful. It's so rich. Oh my gosh, it's so rich. Where's so far? This is richer than the other shade. So I'm going to take this and go over the other shade a little bit on the center here. We'll deepen it all with the black, but you know, with a pencil brush, we're just pushing the pigment in. We're not really diffusing yet, so that's why it's so choppy. So I'm going to take my favorite. This is the S33 Eason brush. Oh, cannot live without this brush. And I'm going to diffuse using freckle, or actually buff. Let's go into buff right here. Over this edge, I'm going to use little wispy motions. Catch up the other side before moving on to the inner corner. Blends right out. I love halo eyes. Just makes the eye look so nice and big and bright. Okay, I am obsessed with buff. That is a gorgeous formula. We're not exactly symmetrical, but what are you gonna do? We take some of Tusk, this lightest shade up here, lightest matte, and go over the edge of buff and bring that all the way across connecting the two sides using very light mild pressure oh my gosh I love this too why is it with my left eye I keep going over the dark tones huh. I have no self control We take more of Coco, our first shade that we use on the outer third, and go back in with that since it's a little bit, it's not quite as rich. Okay, I think with my G34 from Esam, I'm going to buff over the edges. This is the perfect brush to make things look nice and seamless. Taking my Esam W21 flat, I'm going to go into Monroe. And if you're wondering what the difference between Monroe and Shine is, Shine is a little bit more golden and Monroe is slightly more pink in undertone. I'm going to load my brush with that and pat that in the center. Woo! She is bright. And just taking my S33 and lightly tapping over the edges with whatever residual shadow I have on the brush. Not that I really needs it, but I think I'm going to take my finger and dip into Monroe and lightly intensify the very center. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Whew, that's gorgeous. Okay, let's see how much fallout I might have gotten. Not very much at all. Hmm. I say that's pretty good. We got a little bit, but nothing too intrusive. Oh, I'm dying to try this prairie shade, this beautiful 
it's almost like a pop of color in this palette because it has this strong mustard. Maybe put that in the lower lash line just because I can't try this palette for the first time without trying this color. It's like sacrilege. Oh, that is gorgeous. What do you guys think? Maybe the inner corner, too? Hmm. Would like to. Let's try it with my Isam S33. Maybe just a dash of Tusk to lighten it. Actually, I don't know if that's necessary. Let's go straight with Prairie. I'm going to put that in the inner corner. This might be a mistake. Just softening it up a little bit. Maybe just a little bit of shine. The one from the same row as Prairie. This slightly more golden shimmer. Put that right in here where the light sort of naturally shines into the inner corner, the center of that darker shade I just put down, Prairie. Kind of tapping and flicking upward so it drags up a little bit. Okay, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. We need a little black. So with the Pencil Pro, I'm going in to spot the black in the palette. I'm going to tap this onto the lash line on this outer third and push it into the center of this dark mass of color. I don't know, do we need that in the inner corner as well? Hmm, maybe just a dash right by the lash line. It blends itself into the brown base very easily. Don't feel like I need to do a whole lot of blending. But just for kicks, let's lightly go over the edges. Okay, now that all of that is done, I feel like the lower lash line needs more help. Ooh, let's check on our fallout. Where are we at? We have a little bit. I'm tapping off the pencil brush, making sure there isn't too much black on there. I think I'm gonna try this Tor shade right here, that charcoal. Put that on the outer third. It's a bit softer than the black. Connecting it to the upper lash line. Oh, everything just goes so nicely together. I have zero complaints thus far. And then maybe take a little bit of seed. This brown next to Tor. And put this on the inner third of the lower lash line. Don't mind this guy, we've got a baby lupus rash. <laughs> Don't understand why it has to be there, why I can't just be cool. Most of the rest of my face is just fine. Okay, I'm very, very pleased. I'm gonna throw on some mascara. I've been really loving the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. This has been giving me incredible length with decent volume that can be built up to be just as lovely and dramatic as my favorite YSL mascara. So this is a huge hit. I will be repurchasing a full size when I am finished with this because yes, it is absolutely stunning with very little clumping. The YSL mascara definitely has more volume, but not quite as much length as the Pat McGrath. 
In case you're curious, this is what the Pat McGrath mascara looks like. It looks really full and pretty. I don't really do like multiple coats. I just kind of brush it through until I'm happy with how one section of my lashes looks and then I'll go to the lower lash line or something. Okay, so for the rest of the face, I think I want to put my favorite combination, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk with my Charlotte Tilbury base. So I'm going to try and get this first impressions up fairly quickly. Let me know if you would like to see a swatch video of this palette. I don't want to make it unless you guys want me to because I have so many other videos I'm trying to work on. But I would be happy to do it if you would like. So definitely let me know if that's something that you really want to see. Otherwise, I will move on to the videos that I am currently trying to get through. I've got a little bit of a cue going on. This is the Giorgio Armani. Have you guys read the James Potter series? I am making my way through it, through podcast. If you haven't heard of it, it's kind of a, well it is, a fan fiction of Harry Potter following his son as he goes to Hogwarts. It's kind of different than a lot of fan fiction I've read in that it's much better. <laughs> Most fan fiction I'm just like, I'm only reading this because I'm going through withdrawal. <sighs> and they can be kind of infuriating and not true to the original author's intentions at all. But um, this one is actually really nicely written, very interesting. It had kind of a rough start in my opinion, but has gotten really exciting and I'm really into it now. I had a couple issues with some things he said though about like the history and I'm just like no I don't think that's right anyways um yeah it's really good An audible form not audible audiobook form po podcast form I'm really enjoying it taking some concealer this is the NARS soft matte complete concealer with a Sephora pro Concealer brush. Carefully going around the eye look. There's going to be some jagged edges. That's the nature of doing the eyeshadow first. And what I like to do to combat that is blend a little bit of shadow or, in my case, face powder over the edge once I've finished concealing and sometimes first loose powder and then your eyeshadow depending on the colors it could be grayed out with just the face powder so if you're trying to bring warmth back or something you can use your eyeshadow but with this I think we'll be fine with just the powder which is my Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish Using another Lele Posh brush, kind of a tulip shaped brush, I'm going to set the majority of the under eye and leave the edge for a smaller brush to tackle. I think the smaller brush is going to be my S33. Use some brush. Going in with that powder and buffing over the edges, overlapping the eyeshadow and the face powder concealer underneath. I we'll use this to go over the top edges and the inner corner edges as well. Making everything look nice and blended once again. I'm going to take a little bit of prairie in the center here. really want that halo effect to come down through the center even though I don't have shimmer down there. 
which normally I would put shimmer throughout the lower lash line too, like from, you know, like a stripe down the center, but I didn't do that today. Okay, so I think for the rest of my face, I'm going to throw on a lip. I don't really think this pertains, the rest of my face pertains to the palette, so I'm going to finish it. You guys see me do all of that all the time, and I will be right back with my final thoughts. All right, love bug. so this is the final look. For my lips, I grabbed my NARS Audacious Kanoga in the limited edition situation. Used my Chanel De La Lion uh, highlighter and my MAC Patrick Star powder for my bronzer. And that is it. Okay, so I really, really love how these shadows applied blended they just have a lot of intensity and look really flattering i'm very very excited i feel like the shades are beautiful very versatile and staples i think that they're really stunning if it were up to me which i think i might do um i would rearrange the shades i think the order of the shades yeah I would rearrange it a little bit to fit my own taste but yes that's kind of it I hope that you enjoyed this first look I created with this palette I will be sure to create many more looks for you guys and if you have any special requests please leave them in the comment section down below love you lots and I will catch you in my next one bye guys